Hey, I'm Kev Kermesco, and welcome to the Netherlands. Uh, as we trace our first rain, the MX2 class found one of the fastest circuits around. And we got a great start as we're on the outside. Which comes to the inside. Didn't quite nick the whole shot from Watson, but we're up into fourth. It's all a bit of a rough landing there. A uh, steady battery of currents for the lead. And Jeff will be up there as well. Remember this tightish corner? Oh, they've got a mound on the inside now. Who's that? Is that Watson hitting us? Careful, Ben. Uh, so we've got a shorter race here, remember. We've only got three minutes now. Plus a couple of laps. So we've basically got four lap races. So hopefully we can do maybe a couple rounds with video now. So just one. Trying to stay in the lines of these top three. Looking for third, trying to get our first podium. Up to getting our first points last time out in Britain. As we go over the top. Massive jump, we take third. And here comes the fast chicane. Well, we do love this chicane. Boys can just jump into the lead. Well, Gamry is going three wide. There's an attach to the hip. Jacoby. Oh, and here comes Sterry as well. We just hold on to. Second move, take the lead from the Belgium. No Prado in sight, strangely. Or KTM, is there? At least the main man for KTM. The Spaniard. Well, we've got on top of this bike now, haven't we? Don't need to even use the rear brake. This is just full on acceleration and braking. And are you quicker using the rear brake, using a. Seem like it. Strangely. Could maybe change the gear and make it a bit shorter. As uh, so we've got no one behind us, apparently. Look at that high line. Oh, there's everyone. Look at that pack. Very close together. There's with the massive jump. I remember the Netherlands being kind to us in the past, this circuit, so it doesn't seem like that's changed at all. It's almost into the KTM signs. Uh, set at 1.45, our first proper lap. Tried to accelerate while braking there, that was not a good idea. There's uh, out the hairpin. And to put ultimate lap. Pass our stands, I must be. Enthusiastic at Kazaki. It's in a way of victory in MX2 there, but on the horizon. That's all a massive jump for the crowd. And I'm meant to be whipping it and scrubbing it as well, but. I don't know, it seems much easier just not do without. As uh, Watson up to second, the Brit showing off that fantastic start. Wasn't for nothing. He does have the pace in the race as well. As they battle over a second, we can just get away from them. Be all by ourselves. Be a bit lonely in first as we get a bit sideways. So, I'm trying to use the handbrake around there. Not handbrake, rear brake. But, doesn't seem to be working. So I know that tight hairpin at the beginning of the lap where it seems to be working. Rear brake. Of course we can just follow the rut here. 
Get a run off the corner. It's for the right. It's a right hard. Towards the start finish line and the final lap. The dream race here. For the right rider. And for Kazaki. That was pretty poor, 47-3. That was a bit better. Now we need to keep it in third or just ship up the third a bit sooner. Let's go easy flat through there. There's now Sterry battling as Gurrence is going down the order. Being ambushed by a couple of Brits and it's like the third long time leader. Dropping down the order in these closing stages. That's to be seen many moves elsewhere though. That's a feature we've noticed. It's even the older MX games there are a lot more movement it felt like between everyone. Not really seeing that in this unless they're just not showing it, which might be the case. I mean there are lots of good battles over the last place I remember, which seem to be re replaced by battles that are closer to you. Maybe those battles are still happening, but we're just not seeing them. They're just not on the update now. It's got just a couple of corners to go. The crowd on their feet. As they should be after a superb ride. Look, there's second and third. There's four, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Half a straight back at least. Oh, that's not off track. Just messing with the boundary slightly towards the end of this race. There's one final jump. And it's a fierce victory at MX2 level. As uh, so we win by 3.3 seconds out of Watson and Sterry. And we've got Gertz the Belgium in fourth. And we've got the boys in fifth. Couple of French And we've got Sevillian in seventh. Osland in eighth. Olsen ninth. Jack being 11th in the end. What happened to him? Did he fall down the German? Called him a Belgian, didn't I, Joe? I do apologise. We've got Evans. Prado in 19th. Muse in 21st. So let's make it a double. So we go in for the second race in the Netherlands as we get underway. Had a decent start. The outside that becomes the inside as Watson again with the whole shot. As once again we've managed to jump into the top five. That's all we've got riders around us now. That's all we try and take the lead. How about the elbow? Four second, not quite making it work though. But down the inside, no, denied. We go down the hill. Rear brake route worked a bit there as they're chasing down Jacoby. In a section where we don't seem to be as quick. It's all hit the inside mound. That's maybe why. It's going to be better than the faster stuff. Which I feel is coming out. And we shorten the final gear in now. So hopefully that'll be a bit more effective in these straight lines. You can see that lack of ruts here on this opening lap. Again, it does feel much more visual. I like can see it a bit better than you could in this GP Pro, but they don't mean anything. They don't really ride too differently still through them. I don't know why they went away from the model that MXGP3 had, which had some kind of ruts which is better than no ruts, which they've had since then. Let's yeah, get going. Showing for power out of that hairpin. Here we go, no, we can actually use fifth gear. It's over the jump, down to fourth, down the inside for the lead. 
We've got the gap, not quite this occasion. Try and cut back, no, run at the end there. How about downhill? And to the right. So that's where the then, which is not right. It's all around the outside, no room. Gonna be running out of that in this middle section. Oh, almost tapped out the second as well. Probably should have loaded all the gear and make this short gear rather than medium with a short and final gear. Trying to get the run off the corner. Oh, we definitely got that run over the mounds and up into the lead for the first time. As time expires. So we've just got two laps to go after this. Uh, it's 45 6. Once again, doing our best up on the second lap, it seems like. There you go, that's how you use the mounds. Once again, a rubbish exit from the hairpin, but at least he kept the pace up this time. I didn't lose the momentum too much through that. Let's get the back end out. You can see we're really losing the track now. It's gone a bit quieter behind us, hasn't it? Now, it might get louder with this section. Especially if we lose the rear like that. Well, sometimes I think the slide in's a bit better, like it's not as bad as it normally is in milestone games, but then I see that and I'm like, maybe up to a point it's all right. You can actually ride normally and then if you go over that line slightly, it's just drift simulator again. Like, that was one of the bad things with MXGP Pro, especially in the wet. It was literally like riding on ice. It's a bit wide there. Could have a challenge heading into this final lap. There we go, get the whips out. Oh, landed badly in the penultimate corner, or final corner, shall I say. Let's go on to the final lap. A small lead. Sounds like they're right in our tail. Of course, the leaderboard doesn't work, so we don't know. Our crew will tell us, though. No, they're doing nothing. Okay. I have the big replay screens that you have in Supercross as well, so I can't look up and see the gap. Even though it is basically just showing you. Got a bit risky there. I remember I've tried to whip out or scrub over that jump in previous games. I'd run out of time, but I couldn't do it. That was better. I went with the slide there. That corner rather than try and fight it and actually take the apex a bit better. So that's what you've got to do around here, you just got to let the bike do its thing sometimes. It works much better. Yes, there we go. Oh, crowds love that. They like the clapping for us. As we pulled away from second and the rest on this final lap. Of the struggling to score points in the first race. And second race of the first round. Almost getting there in the third race and finally do it in the fourth, but messing up. Doesn't be a bit of a surprise to have a Dutch double. Superb outing for the up rider. As after four outs, we won by four and a half seconds. Even more competent victory over Sterry and Watson. 
Once again, same podium. Evans, impressive fourth ahead of Osland. And then we got Jacqui and Siv. He didn't fall like a stone this time. Goretz just ahead of fellow Belgium. Van de Nick. Not Nick. Nick. I don't know how to say it. I always say did not Nick, but it's, that's probably not right, is it? As you've got another end there. And then we've got Muse in ninth, Olsen in 10, Prado in 13th. What is going on? Some big names all up and down the leaderboards. So, achieving on lot. We definitely did rule the Netherlands as for eight points of the Brits. And then we've got Gertz in fourth and Olsen in fifth, Evans in sixth, Olsen in eighth, Prado in 18. Yes, give us that reward. Very, as uh, we're up to eighth in the standards now, up 15 places with 62 points, just 55 behind Olsen now, who leads away by 11 points ahead of the Frenchman. We've got Evans up to third, Watson up to fourth. Prado down to sixth, Osland in seventh, Sterry in ninth, and Jacoby rounds out the top ten as Nitzike Pish on up 14 places as well. I'll pick on, I will say. Uh, it's 28 riders score points so far. Uh, let's give us all the rewards as well. And shall we go for a double double? Uh, so let's go to Italy in the hard stuff. So we are first race. I won't remember being a hard surface, very difficult racetrack. It's rolling hills and up and down nature. And being shoved out wide as well. Chose the wrong way with there, didn't we? And then we just put it all the way into the top 10 almost. There's all Evans down, so we are into the top 10. And now the real challenge begins as Olsen and Prado battle hard, along with Watson. Uh, so we had a meat sandwich there. Just about making it up to seventh though. As now we go downhill. And now we will definitely need to use the rear brake round it. They got big demands on either side as well. Gotta be careful going off. And also using them well. Those mounds as the race goes on. Uh, is everyone a bit conservative into that? Can we shove us away up into third end of Sterry? Oh, around the outside. I remember this being a favourite move. No, it's not a favourite move because we've gone very wide there. We're still in the top five. Uh, so here we go. Up and down the hills with these tight corners. Very easy to do that. Drift it into the corner. Except you've got no give back from the surface now. Around it. Very dry top. Now I'm downhill towards the end of the lap. Didn't mind these corners because you can actually really get the bike into them. Final corner always tricky though, switching back on yourself. That's the first lap over. As you try and battle with stereo over third. And see, trying to take these wide lines, carry kind of momentum off the banks. As Watson takes the lead from Olsen. As we've got Benjamin behind us. It's back for the championship lead, remember, of Olsen. As, oh, can we get past the Brit? Not quite. Oh, we've got to be careful with the attack from behind as well. So this is our section. There we go, easy up into third. As well, oh no! Face fourth, mud! An embarrassment! Uh, it's all oh, shoved down to ninth. Or not. Here they go, try and get back up to eight. As uh, with a bit of a pump back, it doesn't quite work out as all well. the French ones actually grabbed that podium now. So there's a bit of a block pass going on as it worked out. Oh, they are aggressive, aren't they? Oh, he's been pushed wide. Out of track into someone. I hope that spectator is okay. Seem to be standing stiff, though. He seems to be all right. Didn't even notice the bike going into them. Uh, so we've got the Dutchman battling in front. We've got Muse behind us, another Brit. As uh, it's for a bit of Watson battling hard with Olsen for the victory. And Sterry with the Frenchman for that podium place. 
Has he gone to the final lap? Are we? No, we've got two laps to go. In 10th. Getting ahead of myself, it. Oh, I'm trying to make that move stick. Oh, no! Down again! Down to 14th. It's a British nightmare all over again, isn't it? Just like Matt the Basin. As I said, trying to slide the bike around is not working. Need to rein it in a bit. It's elusive. There's Watson and also having a ding dong battle for the lead. Fantastic stuff between them. There's, oh, get out the sign. Get going. That's right ahead of Evans. The unfortunate Evans from the opening of that. There we go, we finally made the corner. As they're not trying to overtake someone into it. Cool, how did I ever do this on MXGP Pro? For like 30 minutes. I've had enough of this track after two and a half laps. Let's drop down to 15th. Get going again, bike. As goodbye Evans. It's for the greater good, okay? Okay, we get one more point. Or not, because the bike does not, does not turn. Down the inside, come on. Push it, so you're just trying too hard now. Means he's going wide everywhere, and now he can't get on back on the line, so he's offline and trying to make moves. Never really works out well. Oh no, that's pretty slick up to 50. Can we go back to Mirin Sterry for third? That was pretty nice those times. There's uh, all oh, bike, hold on. Come on, we can get 14 for Osland. Sweet. Downhill. Trying to use a bit of the rear brake just to kick the back end around. There we go. Worked nicely for that corner. That right hand are tighter than he expects. And that's where you lose so much time. He's actually catching the top 10 there. We're batting him very hard, as you can see in front of him. Center Sweet's going to hold on it as Watson wins. Good job from the Brit. Winning that race on battle with Olsen, the points leader. As for the final corner, disappointing result. Get your head out of the sand. Uh, that's Watson won by 2.4 cents ahead of the Frenchman in the end. Why well, to Olsen on the final lap? But Sterry in four, Prado back and forth in favor. Jack B, Grant, Poots. I, again, I don't know how to say any of the names. Uh, as we are in 15th. So back down to earth. Let's see if we can get back on top in the second race. So here we go then. Of the struggle the last time out. If we can just keep it together, we know we can fight for a podium. Uh, so once again, we're taking the wrong route. Or is it? Big dive down the inside. Oh, fantastic run off the corner as well. Up into the top five. Almost a lead there. We battle for third at least. Oh no! Oh no! Get going! Go, 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 go! Come on! Oh, it took 10 years to get going again, boy. Has he got pushed wide there? That is good to know. I will check out the playing card. You got that right, Steam. Okay, bugger off. Thank you. Uh, so back into the top 10 at least. And that's a shove pass there. <laughs> Get back up to 7th. 
Just there, the Yamaha. Oh, he really elbows into elusive, but oh, he gets a run off the corner. Nah. Shuffle wide again. Oh, no favours. In this race. Well, in any race, really, as back into the top ten. Hold on. Almost went wide there. Hard and power uphill. So where's the move going to happen next? Down the inside. No. Bike. What are you doing, guy in front? You just stopped on the frigging racing line. That's getting pushed wide. As it's four wide. <laughs> That's what you want round here. As there we go. Up into night. Made the move stick. Hard downhill. Bit that rear brake. That's hard up, Bill. Down the other again. That's over this gimme section. Get out of here, Yamaha. You've caused us too much pain. <laughs> There you go, how do you like being shoved out? So back up to seventh. Now to chase that top five. No, bike, why are you sliding? I didn't want to slide. I just wanted to tap the rear brake. Oh, dancing and ice again. Uh, let's get out of here, Yamaha. Back up the seventh, we can chase the top five here. As all the Italian need on an home turf. Awesome job. As we've got two to go. Here we go, turn bike. No, do not click the bag again. Just cost ourselves a second, that dude. Clipping a bang. Because the bike's just like, what do I do now? Rather the bonehead that's riding it. That's through to the left. Get hard on the power. Did much better that time than we did in the previous race. Again, no major mistakes so far. Just minor ones. Those odds again crashing. That Yamaha. That's our pass this race, isn't it? So about an half for a top five in front. You can see the alternate lines. There we go. That's much better downhill. Closing. Massively closing. Down hill. And sniff a top five. Come on. That's better. I would have been going too low a gear using second quite a lot. Just need to use third a bit more. And the line through here is atrocious. You can see you lose so much time. That's better downhill. There's a cracking battle going on for the final podium in place, I believe that is. The top two have gotten away slightly. Look at that. Turn it on the front wheel, was that? Yeah, this is an MX bikes. Oh, MX simulator. <laughs> oh my god, just as I say that, we go down, go. Get going. Come on, accelerate. Oh, did we beat up the Yamaha so much he's gone overtaken now? Yeah, he's behind us. Get no! Snuck by! 
Oh, my God, turn. Got to get at least the top 10, otherwise this race, this is a wasted weekend. I mean, it already is. We should be top five in both races, but we're just ridden poorly. And this like we chucked away seventh at least in this race. Turn bike. There's Olsen wins. Gains, you know, and Olsen wins. I'm to the Italian. Oh my god, oh, what are you doing? Go, go, go. Oh, you melt. Yeah, well, I'm to the Italian, finished in second. Staring in third. Dutchman Watson in fifth. Should be Harrison in seventh, grabbing that spot ahead of us. Garons. Oh, that's the Yamaha we were beating up on. As we only got 11 beaten by Yamaha to the line by two tenths. That's, that's some karma. Prado in 14th, Watson 15th. Evans, the unfortunate Evans, down in 19th. So only 11th overall, 16 dreadful points. Well, Olsen got 45, Watson 41, Sterry 38. The Italian in 4th and then 5th for the Dutchman. So in the championship, down to 12th. Despite a couple of victories. We're back to 84 points by the leader now. As Olsen leads away after his two victories ahead of the Frenchman with 26 points. We've got Watson up to third, Rents fourth, Prado fifth, Esteri up to sixth, as Evans drops down to seventh. And Jacoby, you've got Tain and Oz around out the top. Ten, Konami, Conrad, Mew, should we say in 16th? Who else has dropped down? Oh, Harrison up. 15 places up to 20th. With what appears to be their first appearance of the season. As uh, so yes, we know. So that didn't go as planned, did it? But we're going back to Italy and Manitoba next time. So let's see if we can get back on track and once again grab a double. So start watching and I'll see you then.